Hey guys, I am Subham and you are watching Coder Commune. So today I am going to start with a Docker tutorial where we can see like how we can create a Docker container and how we can run our Spring Boot application in the Docker and also we can see like how we can create a MongoDB container and we can use it in our, use it, use it in our local system. And uh, as, as I don't have the MongoDB in our local system, so I will use it using the Docker. So before that, I'll suggest you to install the Docker itself in your system. And before for, for uh, installing the Docker, I'll give the uh, link in the description itself. So let's get started. So this is this is this is the uh, project simple project uh, Spring Boot project I have created. So here I have just created a sim one simple API which is just returning a uh, uh, simple string message. So so now we can go and we can create one Docker file. So just create one docker file right click on the project and create one docker file docker file and here we can write the commands so first i am writing the from open jdk as i am using the open jdk and the version is 18 so i will declare this and then i'll expose the port the port is our 8081 I am using the 8081 port and here you can declare whatever the port you are using for your application <clears throat> so by default that port is the 8080 for this Spring Boot application but I have changed to as you can see in the application dot properties I have changed to 8081 so that's why I am declaring here the 8081 and then just give the jar file so I am going to add the target file uh the, I, I want to generate the jar file using the name of like project only so i'm just giving the docker demo dot jar and i'll just copy this okay and now just give the entry point for the command So here we can give the entry point like commands Java and then we can give hyphen jar the, the command which you use for running the Maven application in CMD. So and here we can give our the jar file name docker demo dot jar. So this this file is completed and now we will okay before that. Uh, before generating the jar whatever you, uh, what what you can do you can just declare one final name uh, after the plugins and just give the name of your project or name whatever the name you want to give so using that name it will generate the jar file so now i'm going and i'm just writing and uh, right clicking on this project and just maybe install it will generate the jar file of this application so before that uh, well, till then let's just uh, go to our VS code and uh, I want I want to create a docker compose file so docker compose.yml in the parent folder so uh, the project is my project is inside this uh, this is this is our docker demo project so it is inside this coder commute so here only I'll create the uh, docker compose dot file so I'm using this uh, uh, VS code for creating that so I'm inside this parent folder and I'm writing docker compose dot okay and now here we can uh, write the commands so I'm writing version so version I'm going to use the version as 2 and then we can write the services what are the container we want to create so first container I want as mongodb so here you can uh, give any name so I'm giving the mongodb container and uh, give the image name so image as the mongo as mongo and the latest version mongo and the latest and the container name
so give any name the container any name like i want to give mongo container and then we can give the host name as a local host and then give the ports so hyphen space 27017 the default port 27017 this is the port i want to use for this mongodb <coughs> now we want to create another for our application another container for our application so that is like uh, we can give that as per our application or whatever name we want to give so i want to use that uh, docker demo so docker demo and docker hyphen demo just write this and then we can declare that build file so we have a build so we can just try to build and give the name give the name as whatever the jar file you have so or whatever the project you have artifact id so just copy this and paste it here and then we can give the container name so well, what i can do i can I'll, i'll just copy this i'll just copy this and paste it here and we just i'll change the name so here we, I, i'll write docker demo container docker demo container the uh, port and uh, net host name will be the local host and the port will be the 8081 so the 8081 so this is this is our port and now just uh, save it so now after saving let's go and check okay so our um, jar file is already also created in that docker in the target folder you can see docker demo.jar and now what i will what i will do i'll just go to this location in the parent folder where i have created this the docker compose file i'll just open that cmd heap from here and we'll type the command for running our docker compose container so to create that just uh, write docker compose docker compose up hyphen d and then just give the service name so first i would i would like to create this mongo db so i'll just copy this mongo db and i'll just paste it here so okay now let's see let's see how much time it will take to create so it's pulling the mongo db well let us mongo db now it will create our and uh, the mongo db so it will take few few time and uh, till then we can just wait and see so that that's how that's that that's the beauty of our docker so because because we don't need to anything to install and download the docker i'm i'm in mean the mongo db in our local system instead of that we are just writing few commands and using that command it is just creating the docker container in your uh, i mean it 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 is just container one container for the mongo db in your docker it's not in your local system it's in your docker itself so just wait for a few minute and let's see
okay so our mongodb docker container is created now let's check using the command docker ps and it will show the container which is created so you can see the docker container is created and now we can check the log also so we can check the log docker logs copy this container id paste it here and open the logs so this is the logs if you want to see if any error if you can check for this and so our docker container is created successfully and now docker container is running so now what we can do we can we can create for our application so we'll just go and copy this our uh, go and copy this our service name of the application so i have created doc i have written here docker docker demo so i'll just copy this and i'll just paste it over here using that command so docker compose up hyphen d and paste it here docker dim so it will also take few minutes to create this So you can see it, it first first is it's trying to download that uh, OpenJDK 18 whatever we have specified Java version so that is installing and then it will create the container. And now in the in the next step you can see the target folder used okay so now it's created now we can check that container is up or not so docker ps now you can see our both the container mongodb and the docker our container that uh, docker demo so that is also created so let's check the log of our container application container of application so you can see the docker logs copy this container id paste over here okay so this is you can see the our application is up and running on the port 8081 so what we can do we can just go over there uh, in the browser and let's see whether we are able to access this application or not so let's just uh, open our browser and in, enter the url localhost 8081 demo then image so this is our port right this is our the api let me see slash demo slash msg okay okay so you can see the our application is successfully returning our the api message whatever the message we are returning over there that is returning hello we are using docker so 
this is successfully we have uh, run our uh, Spring Boot application on the Docker. So this is this is this is this is the way you can create a Docker container for the application and even though MongoDB as well. So here you can see the MongoDB is also running and uh, you can you can use our uh, MongoDB also. So now what we can do we can do some changes or we can see for this uh, like uh, let's see what we can do uh, okay uh, so let's check what we got in this container so first first only we are able to see that we have having this container like mongodb and uh, our application container but this is creating creating two things first it's creating one image and then it's creating the container so that container is consisting of that image so let's check docker images okay so okay docker images is not running okay 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 so i have done some mistake docker images yeah so here you can see we have created our docker container for our application and this is the mongodb application mongodb image so that's all about this uh, docker and in the next video we can see the uh, application using the mongodb where we can see the we can uh, we can see the our mongodb is running live on and uh, that application is using it so that's all about this Mon uh, docker container and this tutorial hope you have liked it and if if any query if any question you are having you can just comment it in the comment section so that's it thank you